Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in this video, we're going to be talking about a new modeling tool, AdCube. Now this new tool is new to Blender 2.8 as a toggleable tool, but its whole purpose is pretty much what you would expect. It just adds a cube. Except it's not really a cube, it's more of a, a quad-based, like, rectangular prism. I don't know real geometry, but that sounds right. And so what we do is when we, when we add in the cube button, we have the ability to kind of change and shape a cube the way that we see fit. Now this is a neat tool, and I'm covering it towards the end of our mesh modeling, because... What I have experienced teaching high school students is that they would much rather create things by just taking a cylinder and throwing a cylinder together with another cylinder and not using the tools available to them to generate something really cool. And so what I really want to do is prevent them from just going, oh, I can add in all these other things. Now, with this tool, uh, it is a very useful tool. And if we switch back to the select mode and click out of that, now we have a box selected. And so if we were to, let's say, turn this into a jewel, right? We could turn this into a jewel for our cup very, very quickly. So we can select one face and then we can actually select linked faces. We can either do select uh, and then select link or linked, which will grab all the faces that are currently connected to each other. And if we look at that from the front, let's just scale this maybe into the shape of a jewel, uh, maybe like that rotate that 45 degrees, scale it in on the x-axis, right? And that's pretty close. It's not perfect. Um, we could scale these to zero. So we scale Z zero. That'll actually make it pretty perfect. And uh, then, you know, we can hit control L to select linked, scale this on the y-axis down a little bit. And now we have our jewel that can go on the cup and we'll move this on the y-axis forward. And then, hey, now we have a jewel on our cup. Not painful, very quickly and easily done. We can even then realign it uh, so it sits a little bit better. And then just make sure we delete the back face if it's not going to be seen. So now we've got our, our cup from our previous video and we now have added, added a jewel onto that using the add cube option. Um, just note though, at this point in time, uh, changing the location of this where you add it in the cube is not actually going to be something that you can do. Uh, these tools apparently appear to work, but uh, they don't yet. So I don't know if that's something that Blender will be adding in as we go forward or if it's just something that's going to get passed over for now, but the operator panel for the add cube does not function. All right. Let's go ahead and we'll just remove this from the scene, delete these faces, and we have our cup with a jewel. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and I will see you in the next video.